everyone, time for a new puppet post. Today's story is the fastest cat on earth, and it comes from this collection of stories by Alvin Schwartz called Stories to Tell a Cat. Now in this story, my cat's not necessarily the nicest creature. I don't know about you, but if you have a cat like my cat, he's a really cool, nice cat. But this one, well, not so much. So let's start the story. Once there was a cat, and that cat was very, very fast at running. Why, he was so fast. He was the fastest cat on earth. Nothing could ever beat him in a race. But he also was very arrogant and full of himself. And he would go and invite other animals to race with him. And he always beat them. Then, unfortunately, often, he would eat them. Well, of course, not too many animals were anxious to race with him. One day, he was looking around. He was laying around, and he was bored when he saw a very strange-looking creature scurrying along. But this strange, this strange creature did not walk forward and backwards like most animals. Not this one. He went sideways. It was a crab. Hmm, huh, said the cat. Well, I don't really like crab meat, but I'm bored. So I guess I'll ask him to race with me. Hello, crab. Oh, hello. Hey, what about a race between you and me? Well, I don't think so. I'm busy doing things. Oh, no, 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 no. You are an insignificant little creature. I am, did you know I am the fastest cat on earth? Oh, yes, well, you should be honored that I'm inviting you to have a race. After all, you are just nothing but a crab. Well, crabs have their place in the world as well. Oh, come on. Hey, let's race. Either that or I'll just eat you right now. Oh, I don't want to be eaten. So, and besides, I know I can beat you in a race. <laughs> you can beat me in a race? <laughs> that is the silliest thing I've ever, you an insignificant little crab. Beat me, the fastest cat on earth. Well, I guess we will just have to race and see. All right, and by the way, yes, if I beat you, then you have to promise me you will stop eating other creatures, such as I myself, and you will be more polite and maybe even more humble. Sure, 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 whatever you say. All right then, let us start. So the crab and the cat lined up side by side, getting ready to race. And the cat counted it down. He went, one, two, three, but just before he said go, the crab reached out and grabbed hold of the cat's tail. The cat shouted, go, and he started running. He was running so fast and so hard, and the crab was so small, he didn't realize that the crab was hanging on to the ta his tail. They ran down the beach to where there was a finish line, and a little bit before the finish line, the crab let go of the cat's tail and flew through the air. The cat stopped to look around. Hmm, that's very strange. I thought I felt something. Oh, well, back to the finish line. And he ran to the finish line. But when he got to that finish line, there waiting for him was the crab. Hey, how, wait a minute. I am the fastest cat on earth. How did you beat me? Well, actually, I was right behind you the whole race. How did you do that? Oh, uh, I have my ways. Now remember your promise. All right, well, let's, as we know from some of the other stories, a promise is a promise. So all right, I promise I will no longer treat you the way I did before. Oh, that is much better. And so the cat left the crab alone. And from that day on, he was just a little bit more respectful to some of the other creatures that share his space. And that 
is the story of the fastest cat on earth. See you next time. Bye, everybody.